Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're having a look at replacing the battery in your Palm 5 or Palm 5X. These classic devices have a design that still looks modern today and even with a cover attached are still slim enough to carry around anywhere. Replacing the battery in these aging devices can certainly breathe new life into them, making them usable again. And while I tend to use my Palm M500 more than I do the Palm 5 because of the SD card slot, there's nothing quite like the full metal cover you get on the Palm 5 to make it feel like quality. Before going ahead with this, the usual warnings apply. You must back up your data, it'll all be erased otherwise. As always, I take absolutely no responsibility for any damage done to your device, to your work surfaces, to your person, or anything else that might be damaged during this procedure. And since we're dealing with lithium ion batteries, I do strongly recommend eye protection, gloves, and a bucket of sand, just in case the unthinkable actually happens. With all that said, let's get started. So for this, you're gonna need a hairdryer. Heat guns get a little bit too hot. You're gonna need a couple of plastic pry tools, a towel or a cloth to protect your work surface, a new battery, a couple of clamps or clips, a pair of sharp scissors, and of course, a Palm 5 or Palm 5X. So make sure you've removed the case and any styluses so that it's empty. The construction of this is such that it's glued along these edges. In order to protect the screen, we want it face down. And in order to protect my table, I'm going to put a cloth down. Next up, get your hairdryer, put it on the highest heat setting and start warming it up. Bear in mind, it's now going to be hot to the touch. Once it's warmed up, try and slide your plastic pry tool under the edge. Be very careful not to bend the metal or it makes it nearly impossible to get it to stick back together properly. Just gonna apply a little bit more heat to the top as it doesn't appear to have melted the glue sufficiently. And there we have it, we're in. So here at the bottom is the battery and just next to it, covered in tape, is the BMS. So the next step is to unclip the battery. That should come out quite easily. The BMS isn't stuck down, but the battery itself is glued directly to the LCD on the other side. For this reason, I recommend that what you do is instead of trying to lever the battery out, is simply to cut the plastic cover. This then allows you to remove the battery and you'll need to cut this terminal. Without risking any damage to the LCD, you can then carefully peel off the plastic. Like so. If you attempt to pry the battery out, you may well end up cracking your LCD which has happened to me in the past. So now we're ready to pop the new battery in. So I bought this one off eBay, it was about 11 pounds. It's got the correct clip and I'm assuming it's got a built-in BMS. In the past, I've bought batteries as replacements and they've not included the BMS. Should this be the case with your battery, you're going to need to solder it onto the BMS. So once you've removed the battery, untaped the BMS and made a note of which terminal is which, you'll need to solder the new wires onto the BMS. You can also do this if you wish to use a pouch battery rather than a specific replacement, but I would recommend a direct replacement as it's a lot simpler, there's no soldering involved, and therefore less things to go wrong. So I'd recommend connecting the power before you do anything else as it's pretty fiddly and the extra space by not having the battery there makes it significantly easier. <music> 
better it would seem that this connector is actually marginally too big. So I'm just gonna find a file and trim it down a bit. Well, after a lot of faffing, I've finally managed to get that to fit. Flip it over, make sure it's working. There we go. Next, let's reseal it. So at this point, you could strip all the remaining glue and re-glue it yourself. But to be honest, as long as it's not been done too many times, there's normally enough tack once it's warmed up to use the existing glue as is. And that's what I would recommend. So take the rear panel and just line it up nicely. Pay particular attention to this bottom edge. If there's a gap here, it's not comfortable on the hands afterwards. And so you want to make sure that they're stuck down. So once that's all lined up, pop a couple of strong clips on, making sure not to cross over the screen. And then get your hairdryer out to finish off. Once that's done, it's time to pop it back in the cradle and charge up the battery. So before you go and seal your unit back up, I would strongly recommend you wait a few weeks and watch my video on tail light. What's a tail light, you ask? It provided a light that would go off when your alarm goes off, and it could also be used as a torch. Once that video is released, I'll add a link here. In the meantime, you should probably hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, a like and a sub would be excellent. As always, my name's Hugh. This is Handheld Computing, thanks for watching.